thanksgiving for peace for the birthday of Howard Holland. We pray that she continue experiencing the love and mercy of God as she celebrates her birthday. We pour our presentations. We bring them to the altar of the Lord, entrusting everything to Jesus in faith and hope. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, I'm amazed that you are so quickly forsaken the one who called you by the grace of Christ. For a different gospel, not that there is another, but there are some who are disturbing you and wish to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven to preach to you a gospel, other than the word that we preach to you, let that one be a cost. As we have said before, and now I say again, if anyone preaches to you a gospel, other than the word that you receive, let that one be a cost. And now, Calling favor with human beings or God? Or am I seeking to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a slave of Christ. Now I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel preached by me is not of human origin, for I did not receive it from a human being, nor was I taught it. But it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Let's pursue your son. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. I will give time to the Lord with all my heart. In the company and assembly of the just, great are the works of the Lord. And listen to all their delight. The works of his hand are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts. Reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. The Lord He has sent deliverance to his people. He has left his covenant forever, holy and also in his name. 
His praise endures forever. The Lord will be praised forever. Hallelujah. Love one another as I have loved you. And said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he stripped and beat him, and went off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road, but when he saw him, he passed by on on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he saw him, he passed by on on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler came upon him, was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds, and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn, and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with the instruction, Take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was a neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, The one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, you are most welcome to this Eucharistic celebration in which the Word of God in the first reading reminds us and invites us to be always keen and attentive to the Word of God we receive and listen every day. St. Paul was amazing, was amazed on the way how these people could forget what they had received, what they had listened to. They forgot about Jesus easily. After a short time, he was so amazed, he was so shocked. How fast? What is that which makes us forget our own identity as Christians? What is that which makes us to forget what we have received within a short time. So the first reading calls us to be attentive and paying much attention of what we receive and who we are. Let nothing distract your identity or make you move away from Jesus himself, especially the word of love, the word of mercy, the love of compassion. In the gospel, 
There is this scholar of the law who was supposed to know everything about God and about the social law, the civil law. He goes to Jesus in a pretext, in the context of putting Jesus in, in difficult, in testing him, asking, what must I do in order to inherit the eternal life? To have God in me, to have Jesus in me forever. Jesus also poses a question. He never responded to him, do this, this, no. Why do you read? You are a scholar. You are a lawyer. What do you read? What do you understand? Then this man, he recalls the commandment of God. Love for God and love for the neighbor. And Jesus said, if you do that, you will live. But this man wanted to be justified, to be given a reward, to be applauded. You have lived well. You know everything. Then he poses another, who is my neighbor? Asking Jesus. Jesus did not answer directly. He gave this parable. A good Samaritan, this robber who was left there, beaten and left there to die. A priest passed, according to that tradition, you are not supposed to touch someone in blood when they are carrying the Eucharist going for service. That was the tradition of that, that time. The same with the Elevite. The same. So this good Samaritan was the one who took that time going against the traditions which do not bring love, compassion, and um, making us to live as Christians to the neighbor in suffering. He broke that tradition by giving hand and attention to this person who was left to die. Today we are called to be good Samaritans. Today we are called to live aside the traditions which are not of God, which are not of Christian teaching. Some of us, maybe we are holding on some teachings, some attitudes, some, some mentalities which are against our identity as Christians. So we are called upon to leave them and become good Samaritan to our neighbor. A neighbor is that one who is in need of your help, of your word of consolation. consolation. We are all in need of someone's help and company. None of us can live like an island. So today we are invited upon to enter deep into our hearts to verify whether we have that compassion, whether we have that mercy, sacrificing everything for the needy person who lives, whom we, we encounter on our way of life, on our, on our streets, whom we don't know. Jesus was moving from Jerusalem to Je from Jericho to Jerusalem. Je Jericho means the city of the men, the city which were full of human activities against God's teaching. Jerusalem is a point of reference for us as Christians where we encounter God and where we are supposed to move until the end of our life. So we pray that through this Eucharistic celebration, we may continue moving from Jericho to Jerusalem. Moving from our human understanding of reality to the understanding of things according to God's uh, inspiration, according to the church's teaching. In doing so, we shall be like a good Samaritan coming nearer to those who are in need of our help, our assistance. Trusting that God is always near to us, let us bring our prayers to Him for our church. May the Lord rise up holy men and women to humbly labor on her, on her behalf. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our for all who hold political power, may God grant them strength in working to protect the dignity and sanctity of life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who suffer or are oppressed by others, may God's healing princes bring them peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all of us gathered here today, 
May God reveal to us a greater sense of what it means to be a neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have passed away from this life, may they rest in eternal peace and the presence of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions and the intentions of the Mass to them. Let them offer to the Lord in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord God, you show your compassion and love to all who turn to you. Hear these prayers from your children offered in the name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Sin. 
sending down your spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim we your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection to the country of Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring up the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us when we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, O my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass our trespasses, and lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all disgrace, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God and the glory of the Lord is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Amen. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take your grace and son of God. Our mercy is not. Lamb of God, you take your grace and son of God. Our mercy is not. Lamb of God, you take your grace and son of God. Our mercy is not.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Be blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Thank you.